Hi cake friends, it's me, Silver Tea Cakes. I am back with my latest cake. This cake is for my husband. Today is his birthday, and I wanted to make a coffee cake for him. A coffee mug cake, I should say. My son's birthday was 10 days ago, and his cake was a little more elaborate, so I really didn't have the time with my busy schedule to make my husband an elaborate cake. So I had to think of something that was a little on the simple side, and I would say this is pretty simple uh, to make. This is a six inch cake. It's got four layers on the inside. It's yellow cake with Swiss meringue chocolate, Swiss meringue buttercream as the filling. And I used modeling chocolate here for the handle and also for the steam. And I don't know what you call the top part here where they pour that and they make a cute little design in your coffee. I'm not sure exactly what that's called, but that's modeling chocolate. And this is fondant, and the outside is fondant. And I also made a gum paste spoon, which isn't quite dry. I just dusted it with the silver uh, luster dust and um, used that mixed with lemon, lemon extract. I had to think for a second. The mustache is gum paste, if I didn't say that already. Um, fairly quick cake to put together. And my husband loves coffee, and I do too, but he loves it more than I do. And I thought this would be an appropriate cake for him for his birthday. He hasn't seen it yet, so I'm excited for him to see it. And I just enjoyed making this cake because it wasn't so elaborate. The spoon I made yesterday, and I should have done that like three days prior so it can dry properly, but like I said, I have a hectic schedule lately. And uh, the modeling chocolate I have used before. However, modeling chocolate, I, I'm still not excited about it. I know people rave about it. Uh, this part here, it, a couple of them broke. And you know how the universe has its way. If it breaks, you know, you have to think outside the box and figure out how can I make this work. And I did. And it actually worked out probably better than I expected it to work out. Um, but I'm still on the fence over it. I know you have to use, you can't use modeling chocolate necessarily in the hot summer months because it melts. So gum paste is the way to go. I have to keep playing around with it, with the modeling chocolate and see if it's something that I really want to continue to use. But um, we'll see, you know, it's just one of those things where either you like it or you don't. And I'm not 100% convinced, but you know, it's okay. Uh, if I used a gum paste handle, this might have, um, I might have had more problems with it. And I did have a crack, a big crack, in the handle because of way, the way I pushed it into the side of the cake. However, I was able to correct that with uh, some candy melts. So I just melted it in the microwave and just filled it in and smoothed it out with a hot knife. So you can repair things, but I didn't want to put on the turntable to spin it around because I wasn't sure if these were going to continue to break off. So that's why I'm not doing a 360 for you. But anyways, and look at my cute little pumpkins that I made. Aren't those adorable? I made about five of these one day sitting in front of the TV, and these were um, Pinterest-inspired. There is a pin that I ran across, and I said, I've got to try these. But I thought these were absolutely adorable. And I plan to make more. But anyway, these are not cake. <laughs> but anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope to um, come, come back soon with some more videos. And I appreciate you watching. Appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And I hope you're enjoying your fall. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.